When we last left the Smith family, they were deciding which way to go. We all chose B, so let the story continue. So the dad turns down the mysteriously dim lit road, which started off straight and then started to wind and wind and go straight again and then wind and wind. And it seemed like this was going on for hours and hours. But in reality, it had only been five minutes they'd been on this road. And as it got deeper and deeper into the woods that were surrounding both sides, it looked like the trees could come to life and grab the car. The two twins were like, ah, why did we go down this road, Dad? Why did we go down this road? After the mom goes, calm down, girls, calm down. Just take some deep breaths, Anna and Diana. So the twins take two deep breaths. And then all of a sudden, they heard some unusual sounds, not the usual night sounds you usually hear, like owls or crickets, more of a rubber, 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 really loud, or or this was going on and on and on. You heard It kept on hearing the sounds, it kept on hearing and hearing and hearing. And then all of a sudden they just stopped. The noises just stopped. And this had been going on for another 15 minutes. Then all of a sudden, a bright light just came up over on the right side of the car. Just a really big bright light, man. Big flash of light and then disappeared. Happened again. But on the other side of the car this time, on the left side, big flash of light, twice this time, and then gone. It was just crazy, people. It was crazy. Then the dad's like, oh, man, why did we take this road? Why did I choose this road? That's what he's saying to himself under his breath so his family could not hear him. So they keep on going down this road, twisting and turning straight, twisting and turning straight. And then the noises started back up again. And then all of a sudden, they stopped, and the road opened up to a huge estate with a mansion at the end of a driveway. So the dad drives up the driveway, parks the SUV and the camper trailer over to the side, and turns to his wife, says, we got to go ask and see if they have gas or can give us direction to the nearest gas station. Then Samantha, the mom, turns to Diana and Anna and says, okay, girls, stay in the SUV. We'll be right back. We're just going to get directions or see if they have any gas, and then we'll be on our way again. So they go up to the front of the house, and before they can ring the doorbell or knock on the door, the door suddenly opens up, and they see an older gentleman wearing a top hat and a fancy suit. And he says, I'm Edward, the butler. How may I help you? Well, we were wondering if you had a gas or could point us in the right direction to a gas station, said Dan to the butler. And the butler said, let me get you in touch with my master, the owner of this mansion, Sir Frederick. So he goes to the intercom and says, Sir Frederick, please come here, sir. And then a moment later, Sir Frederick appeared 
It seemed to have nowhere. Sir, Edward said, they were wondering if we had a gas that they could have, or where the nearest gas station is. And Sir Frederick said, yes, I can provide you with gas, but I don't think you should be going out and traveling in this storm after I fill you up. And the dad goes, what storm? All of a sudden, there was a big crash of lightning and it started to sprinkle and it started to get really windy. Whoosh, whoosh, and more lightning. So grab what you need for the night and Edward will show you to your rooms. So they went back, got their daughters, got what they needed for the night and went inside and Edward showed them to the rooms. Mom and dad were on one end of the hallway at the top of the stairs and the daughters were across in the other room. If you wish to eat with Sir Frederick, you can do so in 10 minutes. So they come down, eat dinner with Sir Frederick, and then go to bed. To be continued.